Hi everyone, I'm Larry Ayila. It's a quiet one here at Regent's Park, London today. I have a guest on the program, the Art and Proud African LGBT YouTube channel. Please introduce yourself to my guest. My name is Elume Ebo, a gay guy from Cameroon. It's always nice to have guests on this program Thank to you. share their stories, inspiring, inspiring one. Can you let our viewers know what is your growing up in Cameroon like? You know, growing up in Cameroon has, has been tough, very difficult, because I'll first of all say I really love my country and it's really unfortunate that I can't really spend the rest of my life there because of my sexuality. Just a mere fact or thought of people knowing that you're gay, you know, is you're considered like an outcast. It's a taboo in Cameroon. Really? And if it's been known and you're reported to the police, you'll be locked up. And, we, and there is no assurance of you ever being released. Mm. Because I've heard of many cases where people have been arrested and we have, nev we, we have never known about their, their, their whereabouts from there. So I can even remember, you know, a, a certain situation where when I was in the university, there were some certain ladies that were lesbian and that were raped by students in school and the authority never did anything wow. about it. So that put fear in me. So I'll say, you know, Cameroon as a gay, you know, is horrible. From what you have said now, it's like culturally, the people of Cameroon are against gay men and lesbians. And the law in Cameroon is not protect, cannot protect you if you are an LGBT person. Yeah, actually, you know, the law in Cameroon does not protect you. And the fact that I'm also coming from a Christian ba background, and we're being taught, you know, Christianity to teach you that, you know, the Lord, you know, God destroyed the, the whole world because of homosexuality. Mm. So just that fact of you only coming from a Christian background, yeah. and the law not also protecting you, you know, there's no way of you living. Wow. So there's no way of escape. You can't live freely. You can't live openly. Coming to London and, you know, thinking about all, all those things, you know, there was a lot of fear in me. What would my parents say? Would they accept me? Which I know they, they can never because according to our culture, you are, you are considered as an outcast. So that's why I'm so happy and I'm glad to be in London. In London, you've been able to live your life openly. Yes. Amen. You know, my life here in London, you know, has been a wonderful one, you know. I didn't know, you know, coming here to London would have been this way. In London, I'm free to be who I am, you know. I'm, I can I live openly, you know. To, I'm even more excited because I met a family, you know, out and proud. When I met this family, you know, they've made my life so easily, you know. During, you know, you know, it, it has been so amazing. I can even remember, you know, every Saturdays, you know, we have meetings, you know, in uh, GAY where we you know we have fun, uh, discuss a lot of matters, you know, concerning us. So it's been amazing. It's, it has been an, an amazing journey. You know, so I'm been, so happy. <coughs> now, you've been able to live an open lifestyle in the United Kingdom as against living in closet back home in Cameroon. Well, it's really nice. I'm happy for you to be able to live your life the way you want to live. During the, this coronavirus uh, pandemic lockdown has brought a lot of challenges to so many people, different challenges, different people. How did you cope? How did you survive it <laughs> during the lockdown? Uh, you know, I would say, you know, before the lockdown, you know, I used to have an easy life, you know. I would say, you know what, before the lockdown, there was no restriction, we were free, you know, we used to go to GAY, you know, where we attend, you know, uh, 59th Street, where we have our meeting, then in the evening. 56th Street, yeah. Yeah, and then in the evening we go to GAY where we have fun, we dance, you know, interact with friends and everything, you know. But after that, when the lockdown came in, all of that stopped because, you know, you know, people, we couldn't meet again. You know, the number of people that could meet in a particular place was restricted. Even GAY, you know, was cut off. So, but I thank God, you know, with the, with the leadership of uh, Out and Proud, who came out with a system where, you know, we had, you know, they came up with this Zoom meeting where you know, most of the times you know, we'll be meeting on, uh, on, on Zoom. And so for some of us who never had maybe internet and you know, they provide vouchers, you know, for some of us who didn't have internet, so we could actually you know, meet up in Zoom chat. That's and really also cool. they came out with these uh, programs where we'll go out. I can even remember the last time you know, we went to the to Southern End, to the beach, where we had fun, there was, there was music, music, food. That was after the ate. lockdown. Yes. 
you know. So we enjoy it. So I think the leadership, you know, they have been doing a lot for us during this uh, lockdown, you know, to take away the stress, you know, rather than sitting at home, you know, depressed and everything. But, you know, the leadership, they have been doing a lot. Thank for you us. very much for that. Um, as you are aware, we've got followers all over the world, in the United Kingdom, Africa, Europe. I want you to, if you have any message for our viewers, both at home in Africa and here, as a gay man from Cameroon, look at the camera and please tell them what your messages are. Bonjour, mes chers amis Camerounais. Moi, c'est Elume Ebu. Je suis Camerounais. Je suis uh, gay. Et je, 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 je sais que bon, tout, uh, pendant ce moment de Covid, c'est vraiment difficile pour tout le monde. Mais uh, mettez en tête que nous sommes avec vous. Je vous aime et toutes les gays qui sont au Cameroun, un jour le Seigneur va vous garder. J'ai pris le gouvernement, le gouvernement du Cameroun qu'il nous laisse vivre notre vie parce que nous sommes nés, nous, nous ne nous sommes pas faits, nous, 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 nous ne nous sommes pas décidés d'être ce que nous sommes aujourd'hui. Nous, nous, on, on nous a couché comme ça, donc j'ai pris le gouvernement de, du Cameroun de nous accepter comme nous sommes. Uh, uh, this is a message I have for all my brothers that are LGBT all over the world. We love you. We stand with you as you stand with us. We are together. And for my brothers, you know, uh, back in Cameroon, je vous, je vous, je vous remercie, je vous salue, je vous aime, et je prie que le gouvernement du Cameroun nous accepte comme nous sommes. Dieu nous a créés comme ça, et Dieu nous aime tous. Et que nous, il nous accepte et qu'il cesse de nous, de, 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 de nous persécuter. Nous vous aimons et vous, nous sommes avec vous, nous les, les gars de Out and Proud de, de Londres, on vous aime et vous êtes toujours dans nos cœurs. Merci beaucoup et à tout à l'heure. Merci. I want to thank you for coming to this channel, you know, for sharing your inspiring story with us. I do hope when next we call upon you, you'll be glad to come around, share your experience with us. Very happy. I'll be very thank happy to do it again. And this is Art and Proud Africa, Art and Proud African LGBTI YouTube channel. Please watch, share, comment, and like. Thank you very much.